everybody, this is Dean DaCosta, and today I want to show you a, a tool that I've been using for a little while that I really, really, really like. You know, we talk a lot about Chrome extensions, apps, and stuff, and, and you got to be able to control them, monitor them, and, and to be quite honest, it takes time to come over, excuse me, to come over to the three dots, to come down here to more tools, to see the extensions, to go into the extensions, to decide what to, it, it can be a pain in the butt. So much simpler, custom Chrome extension manager. First of all, been around a little over a year really good you see it's beautiful and all that let's see all right so let's go in here let's press the button give it a second and in my case it takes longer because i've got hundreds of chrome extensions and apps so it takes a little longer for it to turn on engage and do stuff um, if you only have 20 or 30 quick but here we go so first things first you come up here, you got your options. Compact view, show Chrome apps. You don't have to show the apps. You can only show the extensions. I'm doing both. View change log, changes to the tool. Okay, great. You can create groups and group these extensions. So like you create a group of contact finding and only turn the whole group on or off when you win them. So like, say you don't need to, you're not looking to find contacts info and so you don't want to eat up the resources. No problem. You turn it off, do what you got to do. Send, say all of a sudden you need to find some contacts. So you push a button, turn them all on, and then you start finding contact. Quick and simple to turn on groups of apps or, and groups of extensions. As far as the extension itself goes, they all sit right here. Now, I have it set to where the ones I use, the ones that are active, are first. And then the ones that are inactive come next, which is great for me. So if I want to say I want to turn, um, let's say, AFS, which is the advanced Facebook search off. Boom, it's off. Boom, it's on. You'll notice right there, that's... that's um, that's the advanced Facebook search right there. So keep an eye on that. Look at that. It's on. It's off. It's on. Excuse me. You can uninstall from here. You can go to the home page from here. You can do literally anything from here. It lets you do all that stuff. Then you get down here. You get to the ones that I have off, which I can quickly turn on and off easily. It even lets you know if they're new or older. It lets you know if they're apps or not. Like down here, I'm looking at apps. Now, these are my apps. You see the APP. These are apps as opposed to extensions. Uh, really cool. Come all the way down here. As you can see, I was not lying. I have a lot of them. Not all active. I only keep the ones active I need. If I don't need them, I don't activate them. If I need them, then I activate them. It's kind of the way it works. Um, this is a really cool tool. I really like this tool. Uh, I think it does a good job. So much so that the tool I had been using, I don't use anymore. I use this one, but I still have it. I always like to have more than one tool that can do something because you never know. Tools come, they go, they go. You know, so this is a really good tool. I'm really happy with it. Um, does a great job. And I can see 58 people are using it. Um, 4.5 out of 5 is really, really good. Actually, there's over 7,974 users, but there's only 58 that have actually made a comment. So you got 58 people that commented, and 4.5 is really good. Um, it's a good tool. I like it. I would highly recommend you add it to your list. It'll make it easy and peasy for you to keep track of your Chrome extensions, apps, and everything like that. This is Dean DaCosta talking to Custom Chrome Extension Manager.